to you all we bless God today that he has brought us all that far to the beginning of a new year a new season a new life a new positive thinking a new loving God may you be blessed in Jesus name our video today is on forgiving those who hurt you forgiving those who hurt you so many people might hurt you last year you still carry it on I'm telling you now in the name of Jesus leave it there don't take it on again so that your prayers will be answered from God we are going to go to the Bible where God said this by himself about forgiving those who hurt you Matthew chapter 6 from verses 14 to 15 for if you forgive those their trespasses your Heavenly Father will also forgive you but if you do not forgive others their trespasses neither will your father forgive your trespass that is it yes so many people did so wrong to us but we have to forgive and to obey the word of the Lord so that we will be forgiven also let us look in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 31 to 32 it says let all bitterness and wrath and anger and glamour and slander be put away from you along with all malice be kind to one another tender-hearted forgiving one another as God in Christ forgive you yes there are so many people you are filled with bitterness what people did to you so many of you that people plan evil on lies gossip on you say what you didn't say just to put you at the back just listening to this voice almighty god is saying forgive them so that god will come in to the situation the book of mark 11 25 says and whenever you stand praying forgive if you have anything against anyone so that your father also who is in heaven may forgive you your trespass do you hear that you will pray as a child of God but before you do that prayer please go and forgive somebody is it your husband your brother your sister your best friend forgive them so that God will have mercy on you in the book of Matthew chapter 20 chapter 18 verse 21 to 22 says then Peter came up and said to him Lord how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him as many as seven times Jesus said to him I do not say to you seven times but 70 times seven do you hear that so many so many people now the sins that you you are regretting is those that they did to you in your own household what you cannot remember i was hearing somebody that me talking crying about what the uncle did to her do you see that forgive him I know it's very hot forgive him just do as the Lord said forgive him so that you'll be free because if you have not forgiven them or the person that did wrong to you 
you are still in a cage and whatever you put your hand will not go you try to do business whenever you remember it you become worried just let it go and let God set in thank you another one is from the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 13 let's read bearing with one another and if one has a complaint against another forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you so you also must forgive it's better we forgive it's better we forgive stop the complaint and just go and forgive the person forgive the person sometimes some people are somehow they are filled with pride ego they do as if nothing is you have not told them anything just continue tell them because you want to be free yes you want to be free and as you're doing that almighty god will bless you let us look at the book of luke chapter 6 37 what it says it says judge not and you will not be judged condemn not and you will not be condemned forgive and you'll be forgiven almighty god does not want us to judge anybody please don't judge them don't condemn them just do the right thing and go and forgive somebody the book of ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 says be kind to one another tender-hearted forgiving one another as god in christ forgive you do you see that god almighty wants us to love our fellow human being but let me tell you there are some people that are born wicked yes that they are born wicked forget them and just do the right thing as almighty god has asked you to do so that you will have peace in your mind amen amen the book of matthew chapter 5 verse 44 says but i say to you love your enemies <laughs> And pray for those who persecute you. <laughs> My dear brothers and sisters, when I go through this place <laughs> as in my walk with Christ, so many people have done wrong to me. Since I started knowing Jesus Christ, I've received so many persecution. Even persecution in that I didn't do anything. They are just against me. Against my life. What can she do? Because now she's a, a born again. She's a Christian. Look it at my standard. Oh, I look unto heaven. I say, Father, I have to bear all these things because I want to make heaven. Who knows when Christ will come? Will you find me having unforgiveness to someone? I say, no. I have to forgive. I have to let myself clear and be okay in Christ Jesus. Because I'm walking in the light of God. I'm not walking for any man. But I know where I'm going. I'm always positive in my life. I don't cherish negativity. So I move on with Christ. Just go on with Jesus Christ. And everything will be okay for you. Lastly, I will tell you, it's Romans chapter 12, verse 19. Beloved, never avenge yourself, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. May God Almighty bless you this year will be fruitful for you and me in jesus name amen <music>